told is just such an unknown that I've just gone into my head with the fairies, you know. And I'm just living there and I'll handle it when I get there. Uh, I can't imagine it. I, I can't even begin to conceive of it, quite frankly. We, I know that we're pulling our own gear. I know that we're taking our own food. I know that we're taking our own um, tents. And I know that we're going to spend a lot of time um, in the cold and poten potentially, you know, in the tent for a few days with, with, with nothing to do. But I don't really know what it's going to be like and I don't really have anything to, uh, to compare it to. The thing that I'm, I'm going to miss the most are my, my two three and a half year olds. I spent ten days away from them once before and that was just gut-wrenching. Eh? <laughs> All this way, trying to keep up with these bucket bullets, the young bullets and the old bullets, and my prize to my left is a loo. Great excitement today, putting the pulp for the first time, much better than dragging a tractor tire around the suburbs. I'd just like to tell Ted Adam back home that Buck and I have just broken the record for the quickest tent, admittedly no wind, but we were slick for the first time at Buck and was outstanding, and I hope I'm looking good in my little Antarctic beat buff. Just uh, lightening the load a wee bit. When you need to pee, you've got to take a frozen bottle out of your bag. You've got to get your zips down, all of it. You've got to kind of maneuver yourself into a position where you can stick your knob in the frozen bottle and release. To the South Pole, golden shoes is on a roll. <laughs> he can ski and he can pull, he can talk a lot of bull. <laughs> so with Barney, you can sack Sean and Zool, he's gonna come back. <laughs> little chap on the right here, the wind, that's the killer. It's not so much the temperature, you can handle the temperature. The wind just chops through him. Yeah. It's going well. Hey, Shona, we're blessed. <laughs> Look at this man. Most amazing place. A hundred years ago today, Captain Robert Falcon Scott and his crew arrived at the Pole. And shortly thereafter, this environment claimed their lives. Now, these days we've got far better equipment, hand warmers, big down jackets and all that stuff, medical rescue. But the environment itself remains every bit as brutal, brutal, hostile, uh, and unforgiving as it always has been. There's nothing that lives here naturally, and certainly human beings in this environment are extremely fragile. We've seen that on this trip so far. Um, 
everything you do has got to be slow, deliberate, purposeful, well thought out in advance. You can't take any chances whatsoever. And uh, if you do, without a doubt, the environment will get you.